all in the VRF world. This is liquid refrigerant entering the compressor during normal operation to the suction line. This results in liquid compression or liquid dilution of the oil in the base of the compressor, removing oil violently, right? I use that word violently, from the compressor. It doesn't sound good, it doesn't look good, and it's not good all across the board. You'll see this more often than not for maintenance. People not doing the due diligence of charging. I added 40 feet of line set. Right? Put it in. Right? It's behind the drywall. No one's gonna find this. It's not behind this tent. Who cares? It's the wrong size. It's supposed to be seven eighths. We made an inch and eight because that's all I have in my truck. I'm gonna go back to my house. I'm not a fight. It's five o'clock. You're crazy. All these things add up, guys. Right? And the way that we find these problems is by measuring these things. There's three things that you should be checking on the VRF system. Discharge superheat, suction superheat, system subcooling. This is what we're going to cover.